No move is easy. Moving is super hard and that's why we're here and that's exactly why we started making this channel to showcase all these areas but also to help you if you are making that move to Hawaii. There's a lot of do's and a lot of don'ts and that's exactly what we're going to talk about in this video to make sure that you are covered and that you are on the right track getting your ducks in a row and planning for that move to Hawaii. We're going to talk about the, those do's and don'ts. Some of these are pretty crucial and you're going to want to stick around all the way till the end. We're going to get after it right now. <music> What's going on? Welcome to the Living in Hawaii channel. If you are new here, this channel is all about what it's like to live in Hawaii, what it's like to eat, sleep, play, breathe, everything, all that and more from somebody who is a local, somebody who was raised here. I was not born here. My wife was born and raised, but somebody who can give you insights to every crevice of what it's really like to live in Hawaii. If you're not new here, hey, welcome on back. Make sure you all hit that like button. It's going to help anybody else be able to find these helpful videos. Hit that subscribe button and that notification bell is going to be the easiest way that you get notified when this channel puts out a new video. It's going to send you a little ping after you get that notification bell saying, hey, look, living in Hawaii, put out a new video. You're probably going to want to watch it, especially if you're thinking about making that move. We also get a ton of people reaching out every single day about their move and we absolutely love it. Our team is here to help you. All right. People reaching out, text, call, email, slide in the DMs. However it is that you're comfortable, you can reach out because we got your back when it comes to anything and everything living in Hawaii. Let's go ahead and start with don't fall in love with the house first, because here's exactly what happens and you're probably already doing it. I can almost guarantee it. You are searching online, Zillow, Redfin, Realtor, whatever the website is, my own website, all right, which is down in the description below, but you're searching on a website and you're looking at homes and you're just getting enamored with it and you're falling in love with a lot of these homes, a lot of these homes that are by the beach, a lot of these homes that really either are unrealistic expectations or may not be the neighborhood or the community that you really desire. So what happens is people are looking at the homes first, but they don't really have the feel for the community. On this channel, you know we talk all about all the communities. Yes, we dive into some of the houses, but for the most part, it's about the community. Think about it, when you moved where you are now or whenever it is where you're going, all right, you just get that feeling, okay? Maybe you have a family or maybe you're a single individual and you wanna be downtown, whatever it is, all right, being in that area is going to be the thing that really just gives you the feel. All right, you're driving around, you're driving around. And some of these areas, you know it too. We're not going to use the other word, but you know, these are what we kind of call like these pass through areas. Like, yeah, I got no business being here. Let's keep on going. Or some of these other areas may be like on the fence about, all right, yeah, ugh, I, I, I kind of like this one, but I'm just not sure. And then you get into that one area, okay, and you're like, this is it. This is it. This is the spot. It checks all these boxes. All right. It doesn't touch any of my deal breakers. Okay. And then this is just the absolute spot. The reason we're saying don't fall in love with the house first is because it's typically for you are going to be about the community. Houses come and go all the time. All right. Now, yes. Should you have an emotional connection with your house? Should you love the house that you live in? Absolutely. And that house should check a lot of your boxes, if not all of them. Okay. But this is me just saying, when you're there, boots on ground, you get into that community, it's more so, or is the schools, is this family friendly or is it safe, right? Whatever your boxes are that you want checked, you'll know when you drive into that community. And so we're gonna talk more about this too in some of our other topics, but we're just saying, don't fall in love with that house first. Make sure you understand excuse me, what community it is and that it's located in. All right. And then of course, on this channel, we have playlist. We have playlist on this channel. If you go to the main channel, you click on the, the logo there with me pointing, right? And you go to the main channel, you can go down to our playlist and you can discover these areas and really figure out if it's that community for you. We got the vlog tour showing you all that and more too. So again, just don't fall in love with the house first. Make sure you really understand that community, what it's all about, the people that live there. You know, is that the spot for you and what it is that you desire? Check in those boxes. Next up on our list is you are going to, this is a do, all right, do save a lot for your move. Save more than you think you're going to need for your move, okay? And then even then some, because here's what happened really. 
All right. Now, if you're not in the military, all right, the military doesn't have to worry about this. Military is going to move you regardless. All right. But if you're civilian, all right, you're not in the military. You have to consider these things. Gas prices have skyrocketed. All right. So what does that equate to? That equates to the planes that equates to so flights, right? Need gas. All right. That equates to the boats. All right. All the carriers. All right. That are bringing over the mats and containers or the pods or whatever it is. They're using fuel as well. So gas prices have gone up cost of moving has gone up shipping your car has gone up shipping again those containers has gone up your flights have most likely gone up unless you catch it on a good time all right my wife always tracks that stuff um i hate looking at that stuff but i know how important it is all right that's just a few of the things all right cost of rent has gone up if you're thinking about renting cost of homes have gone up if you're thinking about buying all right so save more than you think all right so and a previous uh, a video a while ago before all this madness started happening, typically we would say, you know, you're probably going to want, you know, around 10 to 15 grand thousand uh, dollars, 10 to 15 thousand dollars to make that move. And while that's still a good hefty amount, we're going to we're saying, you know, now here in the getting towards we're in the fall of 2022 now. All right. Saying like, look, you're going to want even more than that. All right. Here's another cost, too. So when you're moving to Hawaii, it is very hard to rent when you're not there. All right. So this is one of the biggest things and one of the biggest questions we get is I'm going to go ahead and rent for three months or I'm going to rent for six months. Can you help me out with that? Well, number one, we don't work with rentals. And while we would like to, that uh, relationship in Hawaii anyway is between whoever is managing the property, whether that's a realtor or the landlord themselves and the tenant, the prospective tenant. All right. Number two, it's very hard to do when you're not there. A lot of property management companies and a lot of landlords who privately manage do not want to run into any scams. I'm not saying you are a scam, but just like you are trying to avoid scams and not Western Union money to London. All right. They're trying to avoid a lot of the same things. All right. Maybe somebody's out to get information or whatever it is. I'm not 100 percent sure. All right. We don't dabble in that pool. But I just want to let you know that is very difficult. So here's what an another cost that's coming up. All right. For this move that you're going to want to save for is a lot of people end up staying in an Airbnb. All right. While they are trying to figure out where they're going to live. So you're going and of course, Airbnb prices have gone up. Right. And now or hotels. All right. So hotels or Airbnbs. A lot of people prefer Airbnb for the laundry rooms and stuff like that. All right. You want to be able to wash their clothes. But Airbnb cost. All right. So now you're thinking, well, shoot, if I'm going to need an Airbnb for 30 days, go ahead and look that up because that's going to be roughly, you know, anywhere, depending on what you need, it could be anywhere from three to six, seven grand. Who knows? All right. It really depends on the market and what those prices are at that time. So that's something else that you're going to have to save for, because, again, renting sight unseen or when you're not here, actually physically here. All right. Because they like to have that conversation with you face to face. They like to discuss, you know, what it is, what do you do for work? Right. Pets, da, 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 all that stuff. Who's going to be living in the house? OK, when you're not there, things become just a little bit more murky and it's hard to do. So you're going to have to have a little bit more chunk of change. All right. If you're thinking about hotel or Airbnb for 30 days or 60 days, while it is that you figure out your situation. So you do want to make sure that you save more than you think you're going to need. Next up on our list, we're going to hit you with a don't and don't have unrealistic expectations. Matter of fact, this is one of the biggest things that we have to do on our calls. And you can call with it, like I said, reach out in the beginning, but on our calls, managing expectations. There are people like they come to us and they're like, yeah, we're looking at probably um, about a seven hundred or eight hundred thousand dollar budget. And then when we start, because we like to reverse engineer it and we like to talk in terms of monthly, okay? And while they're looking at price points and they're going, yeah, 800,000, but then that 800,000 equates to more of a monthly payment than they were expecting, right? Based on hypotheticals and examples and stuff like that, then it's like, oof, maybe we need to lower that budget or the expectation of, yeah, we're looking at 800,000 and then it's like, that's all we get for 800,000. Like, yeah, this isn't really Kansas. That's it's, it's a lot less. You're paying a lot more for a lot less. And we have to manage that expectation, whether you're buying or renting. Okay. You're going to be paying a lot more for a lot less. This is just something on the Island, but basically like, if you look at it, when you'll start to, you'll really start to feel this when you were there, but it's like, 
We are trying to cram as much as we can into this little island. And I'm not saying it's a good thing by any means or a bad thing, really, but it can be a bad thing. But we're just trying to cram as much as we can into this one little island. And then that feels this feeling of congestion. All right. We have to manage these expectations. If you think, you know, that you're going to buy this massive lot in this massive house, it's going to be hard to do. All right. Especially depending on what kind of budget and stuff like that, that we're talking about. Okay. So these things vary and depend. All right. It's uh, actually eye opening to me when I see um, a home come on the market, maybe on the Kaneohe side where the home was built in the sixties, but it's on a, like an 8,000 or 9,000 square foot lot. I'm like, wow, that's a huge lot with such a small outdated home but we have to manage these expectations. And again, when you get on the call, we can dive in and we can look more in detail at these things and what they um, you know, encompass as far as fees or taxes, whatever it might be. You know, We're not tax advisor by any means, but we can just look at what it uh, was valued at last year, basically on the MLS. We're not tax advisors, nothing here about taxes, nothing like that. But again, managing the expectations of price point versus monthly payment, how much that looks like and things like that. So definitely got to figure out what those expectations are again what boxes you need checked and what are your deal breakers let's hit you with another do and you do want to plan a non-touristy trip what do i mean by that so again we talk to so many people all the time and it's like yeah i've been there so many times i've been there like nine times but every time i'm there i do all the touristy stuff i've never actually explored the neighborhoods okay now this is what I mean. Plan a non-touristy trip. Plan a trip where you don't plan on trying to snorkel in Hanama Bay and do all the cool stuff, all right? Plan a trip where you're going to literally look at homes, okay? Kind of not necessarily a boring trip, but plan a trip where you have intent to get out and look at homes, whether that be with a member or me, a member of our team, whatever it is, um, or by yourself on open house, right? Plan a trip where you're driving through the neighborhoods. We talked about this earlier. Don't fall in love with the house first. All right. Drive through these neighborhoods and get that feel. All right. Drive up the west side, drive into Ma'ili, all the way to the east side, drive to through Hawaii Kai, Kailua, drive through these places, get out, take a walk, park your car and just kind of walk and cruise around. All right. And see, you know, do I get the feeling that I need to have for me to live here? All right. Is this the spot for me? that's really boots on ground all right now on this channel yes we are your eyes ears nose feet boots on ground um, on this channel but really what it all boils down to is when you are in that community how do you feel does it give you the feeling of this is it this is home all right so plan that non-touristy trip again not necessarily the boring trip but then not only just those areas like okay drive all right drive around where where are the stores that i like to shop at what else is involved in this community do i see you know a lot of kids out playing or do i see a lot of parks if you you know have a family and that's something that is of importance to you all right drive around really really like go online and this is something else you can do again after our call we can give you hot spots to go check out or homes right stuff like that but again really like you can find um and I've, we've done this before too but you can go ahead and you can like find a home that's available for sale all right and then drive around okay oh yeah i liked this home let me find out because we said don't fall in love the home first right so okay i'm gonna drive around i saw the home all right now what's near this home how does this neighborhood look and feel this is something that i need to know and i need to have in order to make this decision so again plan that non-touristy trip So our next topic is a little bit on the like, uh, maybe this is a do, maybe this is a don't. It really depends on you and who you already trust, all right? But for us anyway, Hawaii is a very different place. It's a very unique place. Now, a lot of a lot of people love to really just do their pre-approval online. All right, they really don't, I don't know why, but people don't like that conversation with a lender because they feel like they're gonna be sold something. So a lot of people like to go online and they like to go ahead and fill out any pre-approval, whether that's like Rocket Mortgage or whatever place, whichever place that you're comfortable with. Maybe you already have a trusted you know, advisor or a lender. But again, Hawaii is a very unique place and we feel that it is very important to work with a local lender. And on our calls, we actually have a lender who is with our team, part of our team here, the Living in Hawaii team, okay? And he's on all of our calls. And because of his local knowledge, all right, not only of the homes, but of the home buying process, all right, and being able to really advise you because again, we not only have the Hawaii property taxes, we have HOA fees, all right, depending on the communities, all right, age of homes, whether the home is, you know, approved for whatever type of loan product it is that you're using. 
having that conversation with that lender and this isn't to scare you all right our lender is not here to sell you we're all information and the cool part about our lender partner too is he's actually lived in all the places that i haven't so it really creates this cool like hey look if you're thinking about this area he's got all the insight and our lender partner is rich he's on this channel he's in some of our blog tours and stuff too but again having that local lender okay and again you don't have to go and fill out a pre-approval online to get an idea just a conversation will give you a real good feel of the direction that you're heading or whatever it is right maybe even a soft little conversational pre-qualification okay they can do that too so again really we advise that you use or look into at least all right at least look into using a local lender versus somebody else on the mainland who has no idea of the home buying process in hawaii all right and the other cool thing about this too is you know we're here days nights weekends so it's like you know trying to get a hold of maybe that online lender that you decided to use um, on a saturday you know we're going to get a dial tone we're going to get an automated message whatever it might be versus the local lender ridge you know sometimes like hey look ridge i need this at seven o'clock on a friday you know and he's gonna help us out and he's gonna work for us because that's how we do things all right so again we definitely advise at least looking into a local lender talking with one and again if you're on our call you will see ridge he's not in this video he is on this channel all right and then we can have that conversation as well Something that you should definitely do is reach out to us. All right. We said in the beginning of this video, and I'm going to say it again too. All right. Shoot us an email, give us a call, send us a text, however you're comfortable. Do reach out to us. All right. Even if you just have some questions, all right, shoot us the email, give me the text, whatever it is. I've had people text me and they just have a quick, quick couple questions. Yeah, sure. No problem. All right. To reach out to us because again my wife's born and raised here i wasn't born here but i've been here since i was nine years old i was raised here all right as a kid i went through elementary middle high school college here okay i now have my family here my two boys all right so reach out to us we can definitely even just with like a couple things all right understanding what it is you like to do all right uh, you know that can definitely pinpoint some things what are your uh boxes that you need checked what are your deal breakers okay what are these things that really are going to give you the lay of the land that we can help you know guide you into the right area and then again once you're ready to hit the ground running so are we all right days nights weekends we're ready to hit it with you when you're ready to you know run that pavement and go see some homes and check some things out you know we can definitely be there for you and guide you along the way so definitely do reach out to us again our team is here to help with anything that it comes to living in hawaii all right uh, definitely on the island of oahu I know I just said it, but I'm gonna say it again. Reach out to us, all right? We are definitely here for you. But hey, look, if you made it this far and you haven't already hit the like button, please do so. It's gonna help anybody else be able to find these helpful videos. Hit the subscribe button. And again, the easiest way for you to get notified when we put a new video out on this channel is for you to hit that notification bell. It's gonna send you that notification that says, hey, look, Living in Hawaii put out a new video on this channel. You're probably gonna wanna watch it, all right? Again, so many people reaching out every single day. We absolutely love it. Our team is here to help you anything and everything living in Hawaii. You can dive into this channel. You can click on the main uh, logo. It'll take you to our channel where, again, you can click through. You can go through our playlist. There's vlog tours taking you through these communities. We've gone through some homes. All right, everything and all that and more is going to start popping up for you right now.